the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, dirty have you, fucking have Jesus. you ever been to Teotihuacan? No, I've never been there. I heard it's amazing, though. Something really interesting happened to me there. Now, when I, that, not only is this square that we went to and stand on this earth mound and this guy whose nickname was Gorilla giving us this wonderful tour, just a spot, the most romantic tour ever of this place <laughs> for such a rough place. And he goes, wait right here. And we're in this giant square. And he runs down this dirt mound about, I don't know, say 150 feet away, 200 feet away. And he goes, can you hear me? And it was like, oh, my God. I could hear him. He goes, this square was built with these mounds here to be able to speak at this voice to 250,000 people. Whoa. And I was like, what? And then we walk. And he, that right I, there? Is that it up there? Well, yes. That screen too. Well, it's okay. It's that way and then go left. You could look this way so you don't have to look backwards. Yeah. So, so if we were to see that square, if we were to go straight around that pyramid and make a left, <laughs> that's where <laughs> those mounds are. And and the the other thing is, in, in these, that's the same shot from a different angle. Uh, that's near where these high these shaman lived. The shaman had quarters, like an area of this place. Oh. And there was this. There's these um, sort of things. And I said, "What are these?" And they. He said, they're reflection ponds. I said, oh, like for like reflecting. And he goes, no, no, for reflecting. And I'd never considered that you don't look at the stars by going, eh, eh, but that really you look down and you mark. So in seven years, when it comes around again, you're like, oh, pattern. Because I'm always like, how do you look up and learn a pattern of that? Right, right, right. But by looking down. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. So they had ponds just to look at the reflection of the stars and, and map them out. Yeah, the shaman did. That was like in their neighborhood. And if you, the way you were a shaman is if you had a birthmark on your head when you were born, they immediately were like, two boards, rope, and just put two boards and roped you and Flatten began a lifetime of, of like, so you're a shaman. Which if you had a lifetime of that, you'd be like, hi, shaman. Sh hey, shaman. I mean, it's, so it's like being born a royal. Squeeze the shaman. Don't even, squeeze the shaman. Uh, even more weird, right? Because it's, you don't have a history or a bloodline of it. It's just it's the study you. of what we are, and that that is significant. Mm -hmm. Because I, I fe it felt to me immediately like, well, everyone can't do that. We need, you know, you don't have a thing on you, so oh, you. Yeah, if you don't have the birthmark. Yeah, I mean that's a really good, like, uh, entry. You know, at the gate. When you went to that to the <laughs> that, the Aztec temple. Mm -hmm. As a musician, when you're sitting there, did you like? Did it make sense? Like the acoustics, like the way it's set up, does the the, the way the sound works, does it make sense to you? Like how they constructed it it? it? it um, it it left a very lasting feeling of that we're supposed to be here, <laughs> and that um, you know. It just it really restored a lot of faith in humanity. I I didn't focus on the ritualistic murder that was going on there. It was just the, the that's the one set of people. The other mm -hmm. set of people built this, and they knew, right. and they knew, and you know, much like the great pyramids that are really you know in the shape of Orion's belt, exactly that same concept of like what's going on here matters, mm -hmm. and if if that is your focus. Think of how wonderful it could be, you know? Like, the, how did those people know how to make that with no, you know, without the, you know, they say without the wheel? That would be, like, really hard. That seems <laughs> insane. Yeah, the Aztecs <laughs> didn't have the wheel, right? Allegedly? Yeah. yeah, how the fuck did they do all that? Well, at least the way they did it physically, you can kind of, like, they, we know that they, they murdered 80,000 slaves in a period of just a few days after the construction of that temple? Yeah, so it was like, don't tell any, actually, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I think they <laughs> like, knew that they were going to be slaughtered. I think it was kind of like part of the gig. Yeah, well, uh, I, maybe that's you know, wrong with that. I might be wrong about that. Well, I, 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 it, it doesn't, with that many people, it wouldn't sound surprising that you'd have some cooperation. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to imagine 80,000 people at once going, sorry, what? And not being like, well, fuck this, man. Yeah. That sounds like a cooperative event to me somehow. Unless they were somehow or another locked up and they brought them out one by one. That's an awfully big cage you've got there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, 80,000. That's quite an arena. Yeah. Yeah. Like you'd have to build an extra one of those just to hold them. Yeah, that's like a giant football arena it, filled it, with it's people. It's that big. Yeah. It's that big. And, and um, 
the what struck me as just the, because I play music as I thought, okay, the, that means these acoustics are so perfect. Like who, th- how do you discover that? Are you in a canyon and you're right. like, wow, this sounds, can you hear me over there? And, and, right. and then you st- sort of tr- triangulate and start doing the geometry for how that works. And like, oh, quick, someone invent ge- geometry first though, because I don't know. It's, I mean, how does that, you know, how manifest itself, that right. understanding. Yeah, how many thousands of years did it take before they figured out how to construct something? Yeah, like where that? someone on their deathbed is like, wait, one last thing I gotta about th- acoustics. Sound kind of bounces <laughs> off shit. You gotta- but it's got to be shaped like this. Yeah. With the Pythagorean theorem, I, you know. I've never been to any of the Aztec temples, but I went to uh, Chichen Itza and saw some of the Mayan temples. And it just, they're, they're, whenever you're at, at a place like that, that's just magical, that's so fucking old and so amazingly constructed you just think what the fuck was it like to live back then yeah. like do we have a terrible well, idea of what they well, were like? like of course yeah we don't know well but it, it, it sort of dawned on me at some point that it was like oh you mean the people that wrote our history was wrote it as from the perspective of by the way we're way better way better but okay here's the story of these other people <laughs> yeah right you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. like by yeah. by some kind of dickhead winner Right, right, right. A yeah. dickhead winner with guns. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. before we get started, I'm better than the person I'm going to tell you about. Yeah. You but know? we can't, even though we can't do what they did. Because what is the emotion when, you, when you're when you in that space? I'm, try, I'm trying to think of the right word to describe how I felt there. Right. And I, I guess... It's I, awe, right? Yeah. It's, it really is. It is awe. But reverence. also there's, a, there's almost, yeah, reverence. And there's almost like a some strange gratitude yeah like where you're like thank you for i'm so thankful to be part of this even just by living in a time just to, to appreciate this yeah like, yeah it there feels it's so um it feels like knowledge expanding that i i don't have so i just feel like oh if i could have a piece of that if i could understand a piece of that but just standing there is sort of understanding it. Right. You know? We have such an egotistical perspective when it comes to our personal civilization that we that like this with the internet and with cars and with planes and all that. This is the best way to There's be. There's a word for it. I can't. What, are, can you try to find such a thing? There's a, <laughs> <laughs> please. Um, what, what is the word? The, I, I don't, there's a word for uh, the word. Definition is to believe that the era you're in is the finest of them all. Yes. Uh, up to, up yes. to this point. I think yeah, I've heard that word. I know what you're saying. That is, a- it's some kind of dickhead syndrome. I- <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It certainly was created by a man. There's some guy was like, "Do the yeah. fucking shit." I- yeah, I don't think it was a girl. If it was, she was like one of them alt right female don't- <laughs> chicks. <laughs> don't, but don't you wish that there was like a supportive mother? Who was like, "Yeah, sure, honey, you're the best. This is the best. You're number one." Just le- don't, don't worry, worry about, about the him. Pyramids. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about him, guys. He's fine. You're the best. Yeah, it's like the same thing with the Native Americans and the the settlers, that the settlers were imposing their lifestyle, but the people that experienced the Native American lifestyle, they wanted to stay living like that. For sure. Well, yeah. I, I think because it omitted some of the, so many of the things that the European culture was bringing. Yes. And and, and I you can it seems like, like a distinct possibility that the European perspective like when Pizarro and all that, you know, was it 12 of them conquistadors killed like a thousand natives in, in a, in a matter of hours when, you know, when they land, mm-hmm. they're looking for gold everywhere. Right. Right. And at first they have this, this belief that something big will come across the water and be their God. And here comes a ship with a bunch of dirty assholes th- that literally factually dirty assholes have ridden across a boat. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I, I think about that perspective where they obviously were like, these people are nice, but I've had enough of this. They should have invented ships. We're better, so let's kill everyone here. Yeah. Well, Cortez like, it's such and Montezuma, an ego. That's right? what I mean, Cortez. Yeah. yeah, Cortez. That's who it is. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't know what was going on because I don't think they, previous to that time they'd ever seen anyone on a horse before. No. And and th- come across – you imagine a big boat and then yeah. a few horses where they're like, what the fuck is – Yeah. Uh, Gary, come over and look at this. It's just – it's impossible to fathom. Yeah, a man riding a beast. They're probably like, what in the fuck? Is With like rusty armor from yeah. being on a fucking boat for months. Yeah. Like looking like shit, being desperately like, yeah. like the, I, I imagine their relief when they come up on these horses with this armor and all this stuff. And they're like, they're cool. 
this is going to be easy. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, at first they they must have thought maybe we could do this with some goodwill, but quickly it's like. You guys are too primitive. We're just going to take over here. I doubt they even thought they were going to do it with goodwill. I don't think there was any goodwill back then. I think people were just murdering people. You you think that there's perhaps that more people took more lives (laughs) in a way? Like for per capita or something? I think that it was a more brutal way of taking lives. I'm I'm, I'm sure people (sighs) take more lives today in war. But I think back then it was just, it was hands on. Right. But but, um, it seems like more percentage of the people that are alive had an opportunity or the possibility to kill someone than yes. today. Yeah. Too. So it's like if you if you are with 150 people all of which have killed at least 3 people. Right. That's an interesting group. And then you land on a boat and on you've been there for months and yeah. you're like Maybe maybe you are like, we got to kill somebody and rape something and take something as quick as possible. And you have no idea what the fuck they're saying because you can't speak their language. So it's easy to just- And they're being nice. Yeah. So you're like, they're going to fuck these people up in five, four, three, <laughs> like yeah. that silent count off. <laughs> it's bizarre. Well, all that's the history of mankind is men showing up in boats and killing everybody that they met. And then kind of doing their own version of a selfie on the dead body. Yeah. Like, Right, Get, getting from paintings. this side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, draw me. <laughs> I would I, I, imagine what it would be like if you could be a fly on the wall when Montezuma met Cortez, just to be there and see what that was like when these people who had never encountered Spaniards before and these guys show up in these boats with two absolutely yeah. different beliefs and, yeah. uh, uh, and perspectives of what's about to go down. What's crazy is that is why Mexico speaks Spanish. Yeah. I mean, people I don't get that in their head. Like, oh, Mexico. It's why all of South Spanish. America, yeah. except for Brazil, right. Bra- yeah. Brazil is Portuguese. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean, we don't get that in our head. Like, Mexico speaks Spanish. Why do they? It's and has horses. Spain. <laughs> yeah, Spain's way the fuck over there. How? How is? Where what? they speak Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it makes no fucking sense. But then you realize, like, oh my god, they were conquered by the Spaniards. Whoa. That's yeah, and a long, long, long time fucking ago. Fucking time ago. Long fucking because time ago. I, I, because of having a my music teacher as a as a young boy drill the song in fourteen ninety two from Spain through wind and storm and right. gay, the Nina the Pinta the Santa fourteen ninety two fourteen ninety two which is which by my watch is a long time ago. It is, it is, but it's not. You know, like I had a joke in my act about the United States being founded in seventeen seventy six. People live to be 100. That's three people ago. <laughs> that's real, though. I know it sounds fucked up when you hear Man, it. Man, you funny. Yeah. When you hear it, it sounds like, is he right? Like, well, that's not right. Well, what's like, funny is that's that is totally right. true. Yeah, it is right. Yeah. I mean, that's... We yeah. just got here. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, the thing is, anything that happens before you were born seems like a million years ago. Of course, and uh, but also 1776 seems like yesterday to me. I wasn't alive, and I'm ready to admit that, but I... I that seems like, oh, that is just very Fucking close. Fucking super sure. recent. Yeah. 